Hello, my friends. This is gonna be a kind of get ready with me, but not an actual get ready with me. We're not gonna talk about me getting ready. It's just because I do not have not much time. Adam's a keynote speaker at the Hope for Prisoners graduation today. So he asked me to come because usually he will work me and Christian into his talks or speeches. So I told him I would go. I was literally on the couch until one o'clock this afternoon. It is now, what time is it? 2.08 breastfeeding all day all morning i'm having so many issues with my supply i finally got it to where i was solely feeding him he slept through the night one night because he ate kind of late and it tanked my whole entire supply which stinks so i've had to supplement we're gonna go there as soon as i get this all figured out and fixed or maybe not and i decide to stop i'm gonna make a full video about it i did not realize this was such a thing for so many people and you feel like such a failure when you feel like you can't breast feed if you want to that oh, I have so much to say we're not going to go down there but I promise video coming in the future regardless of if I continue get my supply up I can't get my supply up and I just decide to stop we'll go from there so today we're talking about something completely different we're going to talk about how to not look frumpy and building self-confidence after you have a baby while your hormones are still kind of a mess while you still don't feel like your complete self yet your body looks completely different to how it's looked before in your life you might be struggling with some self-esteem self-confidence issues i got you girl and here are my tips i have eight that I have written down. Maybe more will come as we talk, but I am gonna do my makeup and I'll insert some B-roll while we do it in case it gets boring. All right, and I hope you guys pray with me. That little man who it was happy in his swing a couple of minutes ago stays nice and calm. He had to have a bottle at like, I, did I tell you this already? He had to have a bottle a little bit after one and it's two something, so hopefully he stays calm until we get this done because I do not have much time. All right, let's talk about it. This isn't to say that you have to dress up. That's not what this is about. This is about just being confident in your postpartum body. So if being confident for you means wearing big baggy sweatpants or sneakers and you feel great in that or Doc Martens are in right now, which is really funny because they were hot when I was in high school, you do it, you do you. But I find that if I just make myself feel like I'm presentable for things like his doctor's appointments or grocery shopping, you know, the big things that get me out of the house nowadays, then I just feel better and a little bit more confident and a lot less insecure with my overall self, which has been a little bit of an issue postpartum and we all go through it. So I just wanted to disclaimer that before we started this, because in no way am I saying you have to get dressed up to go to the doctor when you barely have yourself together and feel like the only thing you need to do is figure out when you're gonna sleep. You know what I mean? My first tip to avoid looking frumpy, maybe isn't the right thing, to just feeling good about yourself postpartum is to know what works for you, know what looks good on you, know what you should steer away from and what to rely on. So example, stay away from body con, tight fitting dresses, unless that's your, or clothing, unless that's your thing and you feel really confident about it and you are obsessed with your postpartum body, whether you don't care that you have a little bit extra skin or whatnot in the middle, or maybe you, I hate to say the phrase bounced back because oof, but maybe your uterus, sh uterus, stop it girl, you don't have enough time. Maybe your uterus shrunk down more quickly than other people's and you feel extremely confident, rock it sister, Rock whatever feels good to you. What's been working really well for me have been loose, flowy dresses. Let's start here. I still have 15, no, 17 to 20 pounds to lose, but I've been able to wear my looser, flowy dresses from pre-maternity because they have a lot of room in them. And so anything that's flowy will fit over those areas. That said, it might not work for you. It is There is no shame in continuing to wear maternity clothes after baby for a little while. I've done it. I wear some of my maternity dresses still. No shame. I've worn my maternity jean shorts and I just pulled that elastic part that goes over, that's meant for over the belly. I pulled it up a little bit and I wore a looser shirt on top of it. No shame. 
There is no shame in any of that. If it depresses you to go through your pre-maternity closet, don't. Stay away from there. That is my biggest advice because the other day I tried on a pair of jeans. It just made me really sad and depressed. Just stay away from there. This is just about making you, helping you to feel better about yourself. Because postpartum, I've learned, you feel like you're in a foreign body. I felt so good pregnant second and third trimester when I could dress up my bump and I felt like it was something fun to do and look at and you're supposed to look bigger than usual but postpartum we put all this pressure on ourselves to bounce back I hate that phrase but that's what people say you can get in your head a little bit so these are the ways to feel good in your body while it still doesn't feel like the body you're used to being in and maybe that body will never come back and that's totally fine you're just in a new phase of life okay I rambled enough. The next tip that I have for you is to focus on your accessories and have fun accessorizing over focusing on building your outfit. So this is two tips in one. This probably should have gone with the number one, but you know, mom brain, I was up for like five hours out of the eight hours that we were supposed to be sleeping last night. So, you know, it's all kind of blending together. But try to build yourself a capsule wardrobe. That was like the best piece of advice that I was kind of doing anyway, but that I stumbled on before I was, before I made this video. What a capsule wardrobe is, it's just a few major pieces in your wardrobe that mix and match with each other. So you have like five, let's, I'm just making up a number, but you have like five staples, a pair of pants that fits really well, a dress that fits really well, a sweater, making this up again, a blouse and maybe a tank top. And you can mix and match those together to create an abundance of different outfits, but you only are using these few pieces. And this way you're not spending a ton of money postpartum. You could just buy a few pieces and create a whole entire wardrobe. That's called a capsule wardrobe in the fashion world. I just recently learned. I always heard that term, never knew what it meant. I guess that's what it means. So build yourself a capsule wardrobe. And then, so this way it's a no brainer when you go to get dressed in the morning or the afternoon, <laughs> early evening. For some of us, when you finally get in the shower, no shame sister, I am learning all about it nowadays. You don't have to think too much about it because mom brain, you don't have much time. You're focusing on changing diapers, feeding baby and getting to appointments on time. Basically that is your life or at least mine right now. Instead of worrying about that, have fun with accessories. My diaper bag has basically become my purse. Somebody told me that was gonna happen. But there's times where my diaper bags are backpacks right now. And I have the cutest one from Hap. I should do a review on it. I love it. I got my, both my sisters put it on their registries as well. We're all three of us are pregnant at the same time. If you're just finding me now, hello, good intro. Eight minutes and 15 seconds later. Hi, I'm Ro. I just had a baby and right now I make videos about that, but you could check out the reason I came on YouTube when my husband was serving a, an unfair sentence in prison. You could do that. That's how I started my channel. And now we just kind of morphed into this whatever we decide to talk about vlog blog thing since love you guys for sticking with me and this there have been so many times recently where i'm out at the grocery store or even the doctor and i need to pay for my groceries or pay my copay and baby's crying so i have him in one arm i'm pushing the cart or the stroller with the other arm and i need to get into the back of my diaper bag backpack and it's just a pain in the butt. I have to put the baby down, he's screaming. I recently watched the show on Netflix called Unorthodox, I think. It's the Julia Hart story, Obsessed. I watched the whole entire thing in three days, pathetically, but Adam was away on a business trip and I was basically doing one of those breastfeeding vacations where I sat on the couch and breastfed all day long. So this was kind of a savior for me. It was so good. Julia's daughter is a fashion blogger and she was showing how you can make a crossbody bag into a belt bag. It's called a belt bag. It's called a bum bag, I think. It's called, in my day and age, we call them fanny packs. It's kind of like a 2021 glamorous version of a fanny pack. This brings me to the point in the video that's sponsored by Teddy Blake. They have the most incredible incredible, beautiful bags. They're an up and coming designer brand. They have just like the most beautiful statement bags. I don't have a brown cross body with a chain strap. I've been actually looking for a brown cross body for ages. After I saw that on the Netflix show, I was like, it's perfect. I could use it to give it a shot. So I did it. I filmed 
a tutorial on it and I think my microphone on my phone wasn't plugged in. So I'm gonna insert the footage here as B-roll and I'll talk you through how I did it. It was so simple and it came out so pretty. It just like took my outfit up a notch. I felt great, but the most important part about it for this video, you are hands-free and you don't have to go back into your backpack. You could literally just flip up the top of it. It's attached to your waist. So you have baby in one hand, you're pushing your stroller, you just flip up the, t the front of the purse that that's now your belt bag, pull out your credit card or your phone or whatever you need, your keys to get into the car, do whatever you have to do. You throw them back in, voila, you're done. You don't have to put the screaming baby down, make them 10 times more upset. You guys know how it is. Yeah. So I'll show you this bag on the shoulder strap and then I'll show you how I made it into this belt bag. I can't get down with the fanny pack trend because I lived through the eighties and I just feel like I am way too old to repeat that, but I am totally loving this kind of upcycled, glammed up version of it. But I still have some weight in my midsection. Normally I'm a little bit smaller in my waist and my hips than I am right now. For people who have a thinner waist, you could probably get the strap around you with just the strap, but I couldn't because I'm just a little bit thicker. I took another chain off of a clutch that I had already in the house. You can get one at a thrift store. You can get one on eBay. You can look at Walmart. You can look anywhere. If you can't find a purse strap, you can use the eyeglasses straps, anything that's gonna clip on. So this one has double clips. This is the chain that goes with the bag. This is the additional chain. So I just clipped it onto the loop of the bag itself. I put it through my belt loops and then I clipped it back on. At that point, the strap was still a little bit too big. So all I did was I took a hair tie and I tied the excess, put it on the inside. Nobody will ever know that it's there. Closed up the bag and voila, you have your trendy little mom outfit. So how cute is this? They sent me a link for you guys, a discount code. I'm so excited because they're an up and coming new designer. Hannah from Teddy Blake sent me a $30 discount code for you guys, which is incredible because this is an up and coming designer. The leather is genuine. It's so soft and amazing from Italy. So look in the description box below for the link, the code to use to get $30 off any bag on their site. And then if you decide to get one or try this hack, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it's at row underscore Clausen. I am so excited. So that's one way you can have fun and do something different that's in style right now. That's one thing that I felt like I was lacking during my pregnancy, I texted my sisters and I was like, do you feel like you're missing out on all of this fun fashion because it doesn't fit your body? Like those fun jeans that have the waistband that crossed over that came out when I was pregnant that got really big and I couldn't do it. Or the 90s, they're tight around your waist and the leg flares out in the jean. Oh, I'm obsessed with that trend and I couldn't do it. You feel like you are keeping up with some of the trends when you rely on accessories like those Panama hats that are in right now. I want one so bad. Number three, I loved this during my pregnancy and I'm still a big fan postpartum. If you're going to wear pants on the bottom, mid-rise is your best friend. You don't want to go too high of a rise because that's going to accentuate your mommy pooch. And if you don't care, girl, power to you rock it i am starting to embrace it because otherwise i'm not going to get dressed during the day and i'm just going to fall miserably into a depression but i found for me the most flattering right now and i feel the most comfortable is a mid-rise it holds in that skin that just kind of is still loose and it hurts for me personally if i let it kind of muffin top over my pants i just don't like the way it feels so even with workout leggings i always opt for a mid-rise you know it doesn't jiggle when it's held in like that. It feels good. It's a boost for the confidence. I could keep going, but I'm talking in circles. Okay, next up. Have fun finding nursing friendly options, tops, dresses. And even if you're not nursing, have fun finding new silhouettes that fit your new shape. Well, for example, you can find v-necks, lower cut things that you could wear, a bralette or something underneath, things that zipper up. I saw something the coolest thing the other day where the girl was wearing her dresses backwards. So you zip only this far and you can't tell the difference and you zip only this far up and then you kind of just v-neck it. It's so cool. Just have fun finding things that you can wear while you're breastfeeding. Walmart and Target have really great options this fall 
for some really, really cute stuff. Invest in some really cute, fashionable and comfortable sandals, sneakers or boots, depending on what season it is for you. Right now we're going into fall slash winter flat stuff because heels are dangerous. On my birthday, we went out. I was two weeks, three weeks postpartum. I wore a dress and I wore a pair of heels and we went to a place with a very slippery floor. CJ kind of got a little upset as we were leaving the restaurant. He was hungry. I couldn't carry him out. I had, thank God I had Adam with me and Adam had to carry him because I was afraid I was going to slip on the floor in my heels. Just make sure that you have some cute footwear options that aren't heels so you feel comfortable and safe. The next thing that I have created as a staple slash uniform for myself is layering pieces. So a really good kimono, an oversized sweater, a jacket, like a shirt jacket that are really in right now, Walmart. You can get them at very, very, very affordable prices online, Amazon. This way you could layer. So that's been a staple for me. Basically my uniform, which kind of goes together with this. This is my thing, this video goes together with merges, meshes. You guys know me and my Italian hands. Find something that you feel compliments you, that you feel very comfortable in and rock it. Wear it all the time, make it your uniform. Who cares if you're rewearing stuff? We talked about a capsule wardrobe, but this is like down to the nitty gritty. I suggested this to you guys when I was pregnant too, because I discovered this just by doing it by accident. When you feel like you're big and you're huge, people are like, oh my God, you got huge. Oh my God, your belly popped. Oh my God, are you due any day? And meanwhile, you're like 25 weeks. If I wore something that I felt comfortable in, it was easier for me to process that they were talking about the baby got huge. And even if they weren't, I didn't care because I felt confident and comfortable. And I was like, shit, you're jealous. I'm about to have the cutest baby on the planet and you want to be me. Huh, I look cute. And that's when I was wearing this very one specific dress, I'll pop a picture up there, that I just thought I looked like the cutest little pregnant girl in. Same with postpartum. Find something that you feel really comfortable in. You feel like flatters the areas that you wanna flatter right now, masks the areas that you're not comfortable in right now. Mine has been higher waisted. I was actually wearing my maternity leggings for a really long time until the cutout on the stomach just got a little bit too uncomfortable for me to continue wearing because I felt like it was like looking like I was pregnant again. But I also have like a three week old with me. He's not three weeks, by the way, he's 10. I was, I don't know where three weeks came from. But the point is for me, it was higher waisted. Now it's mid rise black leggings, a tank top that's lower cut, easy for me to nurse in. I throw a nursing bra under there, even though I have a spaghetti strap and I throw a really pretty kimono covering it. So this way it's covering the nursing bra, poking out of the spaghetti straps. It's covering my hips and my butt and my midsection. And I could throw it on with a pair of sparkly flip-flops. I could throw it on with some sandals. As it gets cooler, I could throw it on with boots. I could change it up and I could wear a more fall one. I could turn that into like a shawl with a long sleeve. I could wear a scarf like a shawl and I still feel like that is my go-to uniform and I feel confident. Whatever your insecurities are, you'll feel better if you have a uniform that you feel confident in. The next thing I think is truly helpful is to throw on some really quick mom makeup. Not like I'm doing today. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wasting so much time. Shoot, and I gotta get out of the house soon. For me until today, it's like something a little bit more important. So I'm taking a little bit more time doing my makeup for quick appointments that I'm running late. He's crazy. I still want to look put together. My go-to mom makeup five minute face has been a CC cream, just some like cover to even out your face, especially if you got melasma or red spots or broken capillaries on your face while you're pregnant. You got maybe postpartum breakouts, hormonal mask breakouts, whatever it is, just throw that on there. It'll make you feel more confident. And then for me, concealer, some mascara, some either chapstick if you're wearing a mask or lip gloss or lip stain under your mask. If you're going to, let's say dinner with another couple or something like that, just a quick five minute face to brighten you up. Really all that you need is mascara. I mean, you don't need anything, but if you want to just kind of brighten yourself up really quick, just some mascara and maybe concealer if you have really dark circles from being up all night with the baby. And oh, blush. And I also do blush just to brighten myself up and I'm out the door. No foundation, powder, this, that. I do not have time.
time. I just found these in my makeup bag the other day and they're cream, bronzer, and blush. And those help a lot because something with the powders tend to age me a little bit. If you're already kind of looking dehydrated, looking tired, powders just kind of dry you out. Me personally, at least. Remember, I'm older. Do it if it makes you feel better and more confident. And if makeup's not your thing, don't do makeup. I've gone to a thousand appointments without any makeup on my face, just kind of hair and a ponytail or a baseball cap. And I just have an outfit that makes me feel a little more put together or an accessory that makes me feel a little bit more put together. Next and final, thank God, because I'm running out of time and I'm doing way more talking than I am makeuping. That is a word. The very last thing but it's the best for last. It's the most important. It's the easiest to tell you guys. It is the hardest to accept and do yourself. Wear confidence. Just be confident in yourself. Try to love your new body. Remember that you just created a human. It reminds me of the meme that says something like, I have a portal between my legs that creates new souls. What's your superpower? Like something along those lines, I'll put a picture of it there because I might have botched it, but it's true. You just literally created a new soul, a new person, a new life. Somebody that is going to grow into the most incredible, amazing person under the sun and you have the ability to mold and shape that soul and that person how you want them to be and give them all the opportunity that you didn't have wish you had pass them down everything great that you learned from your parents i can go on forever i just don't have time revel in that for a minute versus i'm so fat i have this mushy midsection i'm not myself anymore I just want to go back to my old body. And believe me, I get trapped in those thoughts all the time too. It's part of the postpartum process. It's part of being hormonal. It's just part of this journey. So if you're feeling like that, don't beat yourself up for feeling like that, but also just take a minute, use this as a reminder to reset, take a breath, remind yourself the amazingness that you just did. Look at your beautiful baby. You just created that from scratch. You made that. You made that. Your body that you're beating up knew exactly what to do, exactly how to create eyeballs and kidneys and a beating heart and a brain and a nose and those cute little toes. And I'm a poet. So I'm going to stop here. Wear your confidence, girl. And you know what? These tips aren't just for people who are postpartum. They're for people who've maybe added some quarantine pounds, maybe lost some quarantine pounds and you have some loose skin so you're feeling insecure. Whatever your insecurity is, just know nobody is looking as hard as you. Nobody really cares. Everyone is so focused on themselves and their own insecurities. You're really the only person that sees them. You're the only person that knows what your body looked like before and you're beautiful the way you are right now. I hope I made my point. I'm just enjoying every second of this new mom life, including the tough stuff. One of you guys left in the comments and I love this so much she was like not disrespectfully but I just laugh at your struggles now because of what your struggles were like before and how far you come and the, you how far you've come and the miracle that your life is now that when you complain and she, again very respectfully but when you complain about the tough stuff it just melts my heart and it makes me laugh because of how much you've overcome and I hope that you can take that and look in the mirror and say that to yourself like you've overcome the toughest thing that you've had to overcome in your life losing a couple of baby pounds or not who cares? I will put all of the links, any kind of discount I get for you guys for Teddy Blake in the description box below. Check them out because you're going to get a great deal right now while they're up and coming, but I guarantee they're going to be like a Michael Kors Gucci situation in the future. They're going to be like very high end designer. They're just getting started right now. Their bags are genuine suede. It's genuine leather. The chain is beautiful. I just can't say enough good things. Actually, I'm going to wear it today and I'll take some pictures and I will post it in the video. I have no idea what I'm wearing though. Okay. Oh, I got Go. I love you guys so much. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because you know you want more of this nonsense, but you do, right? I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.